First overall pick, all the hype in the world, Jack Hughes was going to be a bona fide superstar. Well, not exactly. It's no secret that Hughes had a rough rookie season, both statistically and with the eye test. In fact, he actually admitted that he hated his first season in the NHL. Coming in at 18 years old and being the first overall pick, he admitted he felt the pressure of having to stack up against Crosby, McDavid, and then Marchand every other night. But the development of Jack Hughes' game in the past two seasons has been phenomenal to say the least. This is how Jack Hughes turned from a struggling rookie into a bona fide NHL superstar. Number one, rush offense. This is an area that Hughes always thrived in, but in the last two seasons especially, he's taken a significant step in this area. The NHL is dominated by players who can just destroy teams off the rush. So guys like Marner, Kucherov, McDavid, and pretty much any player in the top 20 of NHL scoring have this ability. With more weapons by his side and a better feel for the timing and pace of the NHL game, Jack Hughes has become one of the deadliest rush players in the NHL. By constantly using speed and directional changes to create gaps between defenders and wait for a play to properly materialize, Hughes has become extremely difficult to contain. A turnover in the neutral zone is never a good thing, but against Jack Hughes and the Devils, it's really bad. Take this play here against Calgary. There's a loose puck in the neutral zone and Jack Hughes looks for a quick counter. A quick tap past a steaming Lucic makes him look silly and then Hughes gets to work. The Flames have three players back, so they are in a decent spot defensively, but great rush players like Hughes use lateral movement to create space when it's limited, and that's exactly what Hughes does here. He attacks the middle of the ice and pretty much strafes the top of the zone until reaching the other side. This buys time for his teammates to enter the zone so that the full play can properly materialize. With this one subtle play with the puck, Hughes creates a pretty decent scoring chance despite Calgary having all five men back in their zone. When he's in a dangerous situation like a three on three, he's even deadlier. Look at how he creates this goal with a simple change of speed. As he enters the blue line, Jesper Bratt isn't in a scoring position just yet, but when Hughes enters this offensive zone, he jams on the brakes to give himself a bit of space against the defender and creates a passing lane for him to feed Bratt for this perfect one-timer. The nightmare for defending teams doesn't stop there either. When Hughes enters the zone and the defending team does a good job at clogging the middle of the ice on the rush, Hughes loves to button hook out of traffic and quickly find a seam pass to a flanking winger or defenseman. This is absolutely infuriating to defend against because even when teams have good numbers back in their own end, Jack Hughes still finds a way to burn them when the initial rush is shut down. These are the signs of a superstar player with elite offensive vision. Hughes has always had the ability to create golden opportunities, but now he's finding ways to extend them when the teams are doing their absolute best to take it away from him. This growth in playmaking and IQ at the NHL level was always going to come, but his game needed one more change to hit the next level, and that was confidence. Hughes is the only player to jump from the USHL straight into the NHL, and that alone is an adjustment. When you're the most dominant player in your age group, you're playing the majority of the time with the puck, and that all changes when you enter the NHL. As he's gotten more confident with the pace of the NHL and understood how he can dominate certain areas of the game, Hughes has become a menace for other teams to deal with. This season especially, He's looked like a player who demands the puck because he believes that he can take over a game. He isn't afraid to skate through checks, be creative on the rush, and overall he looks far more patient and poised with the puck. I talk about this a lot with confident players, but you can see with every opportunity that the hesitation in his game is gone. When this is the case as a player, there's certain spots on the ice where you know if you get the puck in that spot, you are scoring every single time. For Jack Hughes, that spot this year seems to be on the left wing of the power play. Anytime he receives the puck in this spot, it's in the back of the net. For a player who's been primarily a passer throughout his career, this is a tiny glimpse into the confidence of Jack Hughes this season. Being top 10 in scoring, these two subtle changes have allowed Hughes to become an absolute nightmare to defend against and have made the New Jersey Devils one of the most improved teams in the NHL. So, give me your best Hughes and Devils prediction for the rest of the season. Do you have him as a top 10 player? Do you have the Devils winning around? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And before we end this video, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. Hockey Training is the best way to improve your game off the ice. Whether you're looking to improve on your explosive speed, agility, conditioning, whatever it is, they have a fantastic YouTube channel with tons of free resources to help players with their off ice training. So if you're interested, I'll leave those links down in the bio. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, click on any of the links right here.